I am happy I was locked in prison for six months because I could have been dead or killed because of Unam de Kano. Oji Kalo claims. Can you imagine? What is statement? Why? Who would have killed you? Why are you using this kind of language? You see, these are the kind of people that we say are regarded as ingrates. Why will you say that Nam the Kanu would have made them to kill you or you would have been killed for Nam the Kanu's sake? Why? Who would have killed you? This is the problem. And this is where we are lamenting or crying aloud. Um, you see, Oji Uzo Kalo happens to be one of those that have been nursing uh, false information. And I tell you that um, no matter what, the truth behind Nam the Kano's extradictions eh, still have a lot to do with Oji Uzo Kalo. You understand now? Still have to do with Oji Uzo Kalo. Can you imagine the statement? He would have been killed. Who would have, who would have killed you? Who would have killed you? Well, that is the issue anyway. Uh, my people, let's quickly um, check the contents. Okay, this is morning news. Former governor of Abia State, Oji Uzokalo, has disclosed why he is happy that he got locked up in Kuje prison for six months between December 2019 till June 2020. In an interview with Channel TV, Kalu said he was supposed to be in Wuhan, China in December 2019 when the deadly virus broke out in the city. Now the Kanu issue has been an issue. I have been nursing a lot in my mind because of Nam the Kanu. I've taken Nam the Kanu as my own, as my own. But Nam the Kanu has not been understanding um, many things. But now look at it. I would have taken it upon myself to stop Nam the Kanu's extradition, and that would have backfired. I would have taken it that Nam the Kanu is my own and from there I would have been trapped and executed. Those against Nam the Kanu would have been against me and this would have led to my sudden death. Same goes to the deadly virus that erupted that period. On the 10th of December of the same year, the virus came out from Wuhan, so I have been in the grave. I would have been in the grave with my forefathers now. So I give thanks to God that the prison changed me. Ojuza Kahlo has said all should appreciate God in his life because the arrest of Unam the Kano would have led to his continuous stay in detention and also, in fact, he would have been jailed fully without thinking of coming out, he claimed. Look at, look at, see, let me tell you something, my dear listeners. That period, that period, Nam Bikanu was st still agitating. Do you understand? Now, Oji Zokali is trying to tell us that that the by that, that at, at that period that the extradition of Unam Kanu is already on process. It means that he knows about it. It means that he knows that the hypo plea that Unam the Kanu is already uh, is the, that they are already planning to, to fetch Unam the Kanu back to Nigeria. Hmm. There is problem. That is probably, and that is why I said our leaders cannot be trusted at all in any way. This man, Oji Zokalu, is supposed to be like a father to Nam the Kanu, but in the other way around, he is now 
an enemy not to him alone but also to the entire Biafrans. And that is why I will say to the Biafrans, don't trust anyone. Not even those in the aims of affairs in the southeast. Because why? Because they are your worst enemies. Understand? Alright, let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take and what your advice and opinion on all that has just been said right now, maybe. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.